Hello, dear passengers. To there are tours of the As Astral Express. We have some exciting news for you, especially with the with a few interesting things. Of course, our current destination is the Jian Hua Loa Fu. And as always, a little no. Before we begin with our start of this travel, I will have to inform you about a few things. And of course, without further ado, the crew wishes you safe and relaxing travels. And uh, for real, I nearly forgot what I wanted to say here. <laughs> so let's go here. Also, nice rewards updated in the simulator. You know, yes, I know. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. Hopefully. Like, I have no idea what will happen at all. Imaginary tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gives birth to many worlds. I have played Honkai Impact. I know what the imaginary tree is. And holy fish. I. <laughs> what does this mean? Uh, Honkai Impact? Uh, a crossover? There's someone over there. Yeah, I see that. Someone and um, Cloud Knight. Cloud Knight? Yeah. <clears throat> You're not the knights. What is your purpose here? It's dangerous. I know. We're reinforcements sent by the general. Where's everyone else? <laughs> Resorting to short life species as reinforcements. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Jing Yuan is truly running out of options. I know I, I don't have a long life, but still, I can still bonk. And bonking is good. Because that means I can just protect myself from everything except death itself. Unless. Hmm. Unless. Okay. Run! She's a disciple of Saintus Medicus! Oh! Oh, okay, in that case. Uh, you heard about bonking, right? healing worked you'll become one of us i have watched a lot of my old stuff and one thing that is kind of interesting is the fact that i have learned a lot of other stuff from gaming anime and other stuff and <laughs> hmm, healing has two different meanings one is well healing literally someone from a disease or well, they got, they got shot and now need some healing to, well, get rid of the wound and also get also better. But here we have the second meaning of healing, meaning, oh, you are, you are suffering from a thing that is actually not a real threat to any normal person or to the world. Yeah, lo uh, yeah, normal person. Or short life species, as she said. So, we give you something that heals you from that. Which sadly turns you, actually heals you, not really. It's more like a curse, which turns you into a something that is, well, could live longer, but is actually really bad. Because you are basically turning into a monster. So... Yeah. And then it's not just me they'll be running from. At the fish shop. Looks good. Fish? Let's start guiding him for some reason. I saw it. I saw myself become thunder. Because 
come at storm. Oh no, the storm is approaching. I am the storm that is approaching. That's it in the elixir crucible. I could smell the future. Shut up. Mere flesh will not trap me. I am the Ebon Deer. I see the leaves and branches covering the sky. I will change again. Shut up. We captured a few devils from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Some of them are already mad. And this one is the maddest. <laughs> ah. The argument is always very unfair. Sorry, making for for see we were looking at the two diverging ends of the path. So, hi, hello. Another disciple. You're standing next to the captain. She steps out there. Then you show him that you You want to ask questions? Uh, fine. But I must be present the whole way through. This part needs to be recorded as testimony. Oh, what the? <laughs> Finally, someone to talk to. These cloud knights are so serious. So boring. <laughs> Hold up. Before you stands Grey Puny. Okay. So. You, you ask my questions, or else you get mocked. What's that the one? shining seed? <laughs> I've seen it. So beautiful. If you gaze into it, there's a voice inside that speaks to you. Oh no. Do you still remember Kakolia? Yep. You only need to say her her name, and I say only. Hmm. You mean the Kakolia that the tra that. Wanted us to bitch, literally be locked up and literally took the Stellaron to turn into a an ice monster or ice mother, ice mommy. <clears throat> or you mean the Cocolia that basically betrayed us and took Pronia, which at the same time sounds also weird because it's bo bo both Cocolia had the Pronia. <clears throat> <clears throat> the master said we could inject new life into the Ambrosial Arbor with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't believe it at first. We tried many methods, spending multiple lifetimes of short life species. Yet the arbor showed no signs of resurrection. Mm. But look upon it now. <laughs> Only the power of an eon can recreate the miracle. Yes, yes, the mighty Sanctus Medicus, the abundance. Oh. How about so the arbor? You witnessed it too? The Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. <laughs> Magnificent. Shut up. In the Befall era, so far in the past that even long life species cannot recall, Sanctus Medicus the Abundance gifted the Ambrosial Arbor to the Sienjo Lofu. With that sacred tree, humanity realized many miracles the fallow earth, the western soap berry, the what? altered flesh. Now what? But that devilish archer ruined everything. They twisted right and wrong and erased Sanctus Medicus's achievements. But soon, soon we will return to the glory of the Befall era. No. <laughs> You've seen the fantastic creatures that fought with us. Yeah. They are only minor gifts of the Ambrosial Arbor. I the fish up. Shut it, rambling rodent. The Cloud Knights will root all of you out soon. Yep. And I will punk you. But, um... Okay, what did you do what to them? we do? We cured our kin. Shut up. <laughs> it must hurt to be trapped in such weak flesh and blood. The, the, this, this kind of set, it sounds like you just basically tell me that I'm a pathetic mortal. You know what happened to the last person who said who told me I'm a pathetic mortal? My senses. Nothing gets past me. A pathetic mortal like you could never understand. A pathetic mortal. A pathetic mortal. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? A pathetic mortal. <laughs> right, right now in front of you is Romana, the bonker. I have who has the power of a whole Stellaron inside her body, which grants her the, the power to literally bonk everything. So, 
if you call her a pathetic mortal, the chances of you surviving is 1%. Mm, maybe even less. I don't know. But let's just say you, you will have a wonderful flight away. Just fly, flying away. <laughs> well. Well, how about less than a percent, okay? Huh? You scum! If the order allowed, I would cut you down now. Yeah, and if the order allowed, I could literally book you. Whee! Oh, you don't understand. A short life species couldn't understand. Shut up. Mara struck? Bah. It's a second life gifted by Sanctus Medicus to eliminate the self, to achieve transcendence, a life of true freedom. You know what I actually get now from this uh, Mara struck? Basically, you, you go brain dead while your body just controls itself and just wants to eliminate everything. Which is not the right solution for this kind of thing. If you want to gain immortality, you need other stuff. And basically just, well, breaking out of the shell. Or, well, or self. Yeah, no. If you're yourself, but are now immortal. Or, well, the other thing that is more what happens. I see a desire for power in your eyes. I mean, yeah. This life is too short for you, isn't it? I mean. <laughs> I can... I can help you. Yeah, first off, you don't know me. I have been alive for... Mon a month? Maybe? Maybe in a week? Probably a week, actually. Maybe two weeks. So, um, yeah, first off, my life is not really that short, currently. Second. Bonk. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Don't listen. His words are poison. Yeah, don't worry. The only thing he will eat is my bed. Because I will bonk him so hard. We're just having fun, sir. Shut up. <laughs> Without the blessing of the abundance, you short life species would never be able to endure the transformation. You too, you idiot. <sighs> love mine. There is a ghastly palace in the face of this resident cloud knight. As you approach him, he nods his head in salute. Forgive me for being brief. Warfare is a dangerous business. Hmm. There's no time for idle chat. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, do I know you? We took over this place a few hours ago under the Master Diviner's command. Ah, okay. It was only afterwards that we learned our enemies were none other than the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Uh -huh. Those who worship the plagues author. Yep. Everything was going as planned. The sorcerers of the disciples and the fantastic creatures they commanded were no match for us. Fantastic? They're, fa they're, they're fantastic? Fantastic creatures? You really called them defender? Okay. And after a while, our comrades suddenly started to slaughter one another. Oh. Okay, Marisok. There's a wounded bird that didn't make it back to the... Curse yeah. it. What Sanctus Mechus sorcery did they use on us? Hmm. The greatest fear of the Sienjo people is succumbing to our Marastruck form around others. To do so... Means that we have given up on being human. Yep. Lost the abomination sleeping in our immortal blood. And violated the rainbow's admonishments. What the mm. disciples of Sanctus Medicus did are despicable acts that every Alliance resident detests. Yep, understandable. I swear to the Arbiter that I will avenge my comrades. I I say yes. Go to extreme, okay? Master Diviner, you're back. Oh, hi. Good, good news. I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the disciples is laid bare to me now. Oh. Why didn't you tell us about the... Yeah, please tell us the whole truth this time. Apologies. To avoid...
great dissemination of intelligence. The general and I kept the involvement of the disciples to ourselves. Really? It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the disciples have remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hmm? Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? This is a segue into us joining the fray. Nah. Sharp as always. Oh. I knew we'd spent too long around the Master Diviner. Now we're predicting the future. I predicting. <laughs> okay, I, I shut up. <laughs> I am predicting an image of of March doing some interesting stuff with Stell. I mean Romana. Or well, actually, this already happened. Ahem. Ahem. I say only. Hmm. Did you did you recently learn looked up Stell X March seventh? On the internet, you probably saw something like that at least once. Oh, let me guess, what are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines, leading the Cloud Knight charge? Um, Wayne. Well, try this on for size. Nope, I can't stand any more of this fighting. So there. Uh, you are part of the Astro Express crew. Fighting is kind of a given. I think. Like, would be funny if the next planet actually is literally peaceful and there's nothing happening and, and like, no, no, no fighting. Just, hey, hi, welcome, welcome. How about you have a little chat? How about that? Yeah. And even after, after a, a bit being on that planet. Nothing really extreme happens. No fighting. No stellar run. Just chill. Why? Why? She said. Who said? Who said what? The ambrosial arbor's descent will bring us undying bodies. The one who gave us the Stellaron said that. What? Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. Who? Oh. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly. Huh? Little pawn. Must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loath to flout my philosophy of destruction. Eh? Never mind. It would seem the time has come for other means of dismantling the Xianjo from within. What? Excuse me, what? <sighs> what a shame. Uh, um, thing you been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> huh? You received the gift of abundance. Surely you can stand the blessing of destruction. You want to some hack there? Benefactors. Oh. Introduce myself. I am Lord Ravager. My enemies. Ah, okay. I have come with a single purpose to set in motion the self destruction of the Sienjo. Hmm? Miss Ting Yun is the 
the Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion? But how can that be? Keep calm, all of you. This is a formidable enemy. We have to stay together. Can I say something now? Um, I say on to the little um, neck break there. Um, hi, Natsuki. How's it going? <laughs> 